Have you ever taken care of a garden before? A garden just, just doesn't grow all by itself. There's a lot of work that's involved in it. You've got to put in a lot of work to dig, and then to plant, then to fertilize and water, and then you have to let it grow. But what in the process of letting your garden and the things in it grow, what happens is that there are all sorts of things that can destroy your garden. Maybe dryness. You have to make sure that there's enough water there. And you have to watch over your garden to make sure that there aren't any bugs or pests or anything that could eat away or destroy what you planted. Well, back in Genesis chapter 2, verse 15, God gave a garden to Adam. And Adam had to take care of not only the garden, but God said us something very interesting. He said not only to take care of it, to cultivate it, but to watch over it, to keep it. And so that word originally in Hebrew meant to watch over like a watchman on the tower of a wall that was guarding the city. And if there was an enemy that was coming, he would blow the trumpet and alert the, the soldiers of the city to rise up and protect the city from whatever attack. And so God, even before there was any sort of sin or anything like that, he said, Adam, watch over that garden. And so how can we think of uh, a garden today? What is our garden today? Our garden is our relationships. And so how do we watch over and keep our garden? Well, for one thing, if you are in a relationship, if you are married, then you need to take care of that garden. You need to watch over that garden. And for me, I need to watch over my wife. I need to make sure that there are no enemy attacks that are coming against her. And I need to watch out for her. Yes, of course, my wife has a responsibility to watch over me, to, to make sure that I'm not going into error or making mistakes or things like that. And so we help one another out. Same thing goes for my son. I need to watch out over my son. I am responsible for him until the point that he can be responsible for himself. And yes, it's her responsibility to, to make sure that my son is doing well and to watch over it. And then together we pray for him and we pray for each other. And so it's the same way with any sort of relationship because the more intimate people are, the more responsibility that we have to watch over them, to be with them. But you know, it goes farther than that. How is the garden of the church where we are planted? Are we helping out to bring that church closer to God and bring more the kingdom of God into that place? Same thing goes for our nation because our nation, our communities, our states, those play a vital part of the garden which we call our lives. Are we praying for our nation? Are we playing a part in making sure that the kingdom of God can come in whatever area of influence where we are involved? Because that is so important that we make a difference. Because if we are asleep, then the enemy will come in and destroy our garden. And so it is up to us to take care of our gardens. It is up to us not only to take care of our souls, but God made us for relationships, and so it's up to us to care for those things that are in our reach that we can have an influence. And it goes all the way up to a national level. We join with them to take care of the very nation where you are planted. We join with them that we can together make an influence, of not only a positive influence, but an influence for the kingdom of God, that we will see more and more the kingdom of God, that we will not sleep, that we will not just take things for granted, twiddle our thumbs, and then we do nothing more. We need to be watchful, because the enemy wants to commit and steal through the shore, and the responsibility is ours to take part and to play a part to make sure that our gardens do not get destroyed. We join the Take care of our gardens is an important thing. And I pray that these videos will help encourage you, will help you to take care of your soul, your garden, your life, 
and the things where you can have an influence. If you like any of these videos, great. Just uh, go ahead and like them. Put a comment down in the comment section. That always encourages me. And you can subscribe to this channel so that you can receive uh, notice of when new videos come out. May God bless you.